The ninja's on. Both air conditioners are running. And so is the generator. We are John and Michelle, and we believe memories are more valuable than material possessions. That's why we waved goodbye to 2,400 square feet of house and said hello to our 35-foot fifth wheel. Hey, it's John from inside the Called to Be Free RV. Check us out at calledtobefreerv.com. We're getting ready to take a big trip out west, and we knew that we wanted to do some boondocking while we were out there. Now, our uh, budget does not allow for us to dip into solar at this time, and that's one of those situations where that will pay for itself, certainly in the long run, but for a short time, we're going to be relying on the Champion 3400 watt inverter generator. This has dual fuel and we're going to be um, hopefully running it primarily off of propane. So I'm going to take this out of the box today. We're going to give it a once over. We're going to look at it, look at it and uh, we're going to try and get some oil in this thing and give it a first run. So I think right away we should address the number. 3400 on the Champion Inverter, that's the starting watt, so that's your max. And uh, the 3100, it says, is the running watt, so that's going to be the most continuous amount of power that this thing is going to pump out. Now we've got a 50 amp rig, and we go into this full well knowing that the odds are very likely that we're gonna, not going to run everything that we have on this one unit alone. And actually I should go ahead and mention that the, those numbers will drop using propane because propane has less BTUs than uh, unleaded gasoline. So you're going to get even less of a max and less of a continuous running wattage when we are using propane. Leave a review, get a free t-shirt. Can't wait. Oil funnel. Propane hookup. Here's the handle. It's a pretty sweet setup. Roll this back out of frame so I can clear this cardboard out of the way. Here, people say oil is the lifeblood of the engine, and uh, it's never more critical than in something like this, based off of everything that I've been told and, and have read about these devices. Um, we're gonna put the oil in, and I've got the GoPro, I'll have it down here with me while I do that. But uh, it's very important that you follow the manufacturer's guidelines when it comes to the oil, because uh, not enough oil, you're gonna be in bad shape. Too much oil, you're eventually gonna be in bad shape. And uh, oil change intervals, regularly scheduled oil change intervals, are essential to keep this thing up and running so um, 0.6 of a quart is what we're going to put in here and uh, uh, based off of the advice online you're going to fill that oil until you start to see it just at the uh, the bottom of the uh, dipstick threading
Why do oil caps always do that, by the way? The, the ring never, ever comes cleanly off of the cap. It's just the most weird, random thing. So the battery's connected, the oil is in. Now the only thing left to do is hook up the fuel. Flip up for propane. Secure it this in, secure it this in. Flip the battery on. We lit up, so we connected the battery right. Pull the choke. Electric start. This was a surprisingly easy setup. We used the quick start guide guidelines, and as you can hear, it's not very loud, comparatively speaking, and it's also running really smoothly. You can smell a difference in the exhaust using propane versus gasoline, and we're getting ready to hook some stuff up and try this bad boy out. Michelle just gave me the green light, so we're going to throw the breaker and get this switched over to the generator. That's switched over to economy mode, and it's purring. We turn the TV on to try everything out. I don't know. What are you doing? Slow cook? Yeah. Or high or low? Now the Ninja has about the same draw as a microwave. Speaking of microwave. Wait a minute, you've got something there. There's something in the microwave? Yeah. That would have been ugly. I think this will be the test. What is it? Air conditioner. With the ninja? Yeah. It'll either shut it down or... I heard the inverter when, when it's kicked on. Now hit 30 seconds on the microwave. <laughs> Now 
uh, I'm standing right under the air conditioner, so I can't, I can't hear the generator. I don't know how hard it's working, but everything's still on, so I know it's still running, at the very least. Maddie's giving me a thumbs up. So the fridge, and the, the air conditioner, and the ninja, and the, yeah. the microwave. microwave. This is so scary. I feel like the power's gonna go out. Feel like the power's gonna go out. We'll just plug back into the electricity. That's why we're doing it now. This is pretty awesome. <laughs> Might as well give it a shot. Second air conditioner is running. Two. Is that one still going? The ninja's on. Both air conditioners are running. And so is the generator. On propane. I'm ecstatic. This is awesome. <laughs> Hey, it's John from the future. I wanted to tell you that uh, the results that we had for the generator the first time we hooked it up were not typical. And we expected that. And, uh, we were very caught off guard uh, with surprise the, uh, the first time we hooked it up and ran all of that stuff. But I do wanna come on and make sure that we communicate effectively that that's not the typical performance that you're going to get. That's not the typical performance that we have seen. Uh, we're still very pleased with the Champion Inverter and I'm going to be putting uh, together another video that will walk you through the process of scheduled maintenance, doing the oil change, because uh, as we mentioned, oil is the lifeblood of the engine. So look forward to that video coming very soon. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you found this video helpful and you uh, know somebody who also might benefit from watching it, please share that with them. Word of mouth is really the best way that we can uh, get our content in front of additional eyes. So we thank you for watching. We'll see you on our journey.